Welcome to another edition of High Exclusive. Thank you for joining us today. It's going to be another interesting topic where we're going to speak about education, considering everything that's happening around us. Uh, the youth of our country is in a dilemma trying to figure out where should they go next to find their education and at the same time, how they can further themselves and contribute towards this country and to the economy. Uh, keeping all of these in mind, we wanted to have an interview with someone who has uh, done his part in creating pathways for our young leaders to have the right education that they need. So today I'm visiting SLTC. Now he's the founder, the president and the CEO. I'm happy to have Ranjit Rupasinghe. Thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you, Dan. And uh, he's having a very tight schedule, so we thought <laughs> we'll squeeze in this interview quickly. To start things off, uh, tell me about the journey of this brand. How has it been over the years? Uh, first of all, thanks, Dan, uh, for just uh, having this opportunity to talk about SLTC. Uh, I think this idea goes far away, but I, I came from uh, engineering background. I graduated from Peradini and, uh, and then later on I was very active in, in professional bodies as well as in the industry. So what we realized there is, there is this uh, deterioration of quality of professionals mm. in the country overall. So what, what I thought like we been the professionals and, and especially being an engineer, why aren't we just doing something for it? So that's that's where we started, and then we when we when we just try to understand how the uh, Sri Lankan education uh, fit into the uh, world as well as the in Sri Lankan country requirement, what we realized there is a big gap mm. of uh, what is happening and what is actually uh, needs at the moment in the country. So. Uh, that's the point. That's th that's where we started, and we wanted to have something completely different than what is actually happening in in the tertiary education uh, system in the country. Uh, so we thought of bringing this research university as a novel concept to Sri Lankan tertiary education. So we started in 2015 uh, as a very fresh uh, uh, in initiative. Uh, and, and managed to build the university to up to this level with 3,000 students and more than 250 faculty on board and, and with more 25 uh, degree programs plus few postgraduates. So that's the journey and we believe like uh, we are introducing few novel concepts to this domain. That's amazing. Now, this also states that it is the it is the only uh, university that is corporate uh, funded, which is supported. What do you mean by that? Uh, I think uh, Sri Lanka is the only country that has a clear demarcation or a, or, or a interface which are not actually uh, aligned together the corporate and the university system. So what we actually wanted to have a, a common ideology and, and try to bring or try to align our outcome towards the corporates and the industry requirements. So, so what we thought the best thing is to have uh, 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 corporates coming into the education uh, sector and operate university. So that is happening elsewhere in the world. So this is the first university that cooperate starts by itself, but managed by the faculty and the management with full independence. So that's what we meant. And we believe by doing that, of course, we have, uh, uh, we have a faculty coming from industry as well. And we give the right recognition as equal as the faculty from academia. So and also, I think it's a great way to merge somebody who is book smart to the world outside yeah, and exactly. also get ready for what the corporate world requires from you. That's right. And so this partnership has worked very well in strengthening what your brand is all about. Okay. So as an engineer, what do you think about all the students that you see today? As someone who has gone through the usual run of uh, education. That's something that... Uh, we all should talk but no one is actually <laughs> talking about it uh, but if we just uh, try to understand what 
really industry or the world is looking for today from a graduate or, or, or a from fresh engineer. They actually industry needs people, those who understand the subject and those who can apply that knowledge to something useful mm. or productive. And also they expect people or students or a professionals, those who are learning, the self learning ability is something very important. So we actually, if, if, we, if we just try to define uh, the expectation, it's a, it's a person who is a self learner and person who can apply what you learn into uh, something productive or, or useful or who can actually create a product or something similar. So this is, this is the e actual expectation, but unfortunately in this country, uh, it's very hard to drive or create output of that kind because of our primary education system, unfortunately. So that is True. where we are. Uh, when it comes to a university lifestyle, you are supposed to be well-rounded with everything that's happening. But I think from 2015 or from the inception of 2014 when the idea came about uh, till 2019, I think it would have been a very successful, easier road to pass. But then 2019 we had a setback and soon after that we went through a, a health crisis and now we are faced with an economical crisis and an economy that's continuously crashing. And this has really crippled the students who want to venture into education that might not be even available here or even use dollars out of this country. How can this university help these kids match up or even create a bridge between Sri Lanka and the universities that they hope to visit? Uh, I think that's a very good qu question and timely as well. Uh, so what, what we, uh, as we all know, I mean, we are in a crisis. So the, the uh, important thing, how we reduce the number of dollars that we are sending out. What we, what we do actually, this is the difference between us and the rates. So in our case, we are not actually paying, paying franchise fees for any foreign universities or, or royalties. So uh, what happened, all these partnerships that we have, actually we, are, we have partners from UK, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, and many other countries that everyone is looking for. Uh, all these universities are actually, uh, they, they, they have articulated our degree program and they are recognizing our degree as equivalent to their degree. Their degree. So in our pathway programs, what we do or what students do is like they take the first two years in our program and go and take the last two years in the particular university. So this actually create opportunity for not sending dollars out. And the second, we are actually your total expenditure would be less than half of what you actually spending because you will be living here for two years and you are paying the Sri Lankan price of a degree which is negligible in comparison to. Correct. Uh, and if a student is starting off now, I think there is an ample two years to not worry about. And yeah. in two years, hopefully things will be at a more settled place exactly. for Sri Lankans to take that step. Um, uh, considering the fact that Sri in Sri Lanka we are giving such a recognized education platform, what are the measures that you had to do to uh, explain it to the universities internationally? No, I think uh, luckily we still have the recognition for Sri Lankan education all over well, the world. That so, is true. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually running on that platform, so that is one advantage. And the second uh, thing is the quality assurance and the quality of work that we do. So that includes the delivery and evaluation and uh, under getting the proper feedback from students and maintaining a very transparent system. So that is what we are doing and that we have, uh, we have actually make sure that we, we ensure all these qualities that is required. Uh, and this includes uh, the online delivery, which is actually happening now. Uh, so we adapted this technology called TEAL, Technology Enabled Active Learning, uh, which actually gives us opportunity to measure the uh, quality of students or, or the level of students to measure the quality of our lecturers or what they do or how they teach. Mm. So this is, this is the systems that we are implementing. Uh, uh, just want to ask, there are so many uh, non-state 
sector education platforms. What would you tell them is a crucial thing at this very point that we have to keep in mind and also about the country? I think the most important thing is to maintain the quality because quality ultimate the quality of the degree and the level of the graduates matters the most because uh, whether whether you graduated from universe, government university or uh, from a non-state university, you are a Sri Lankan graduate. So it's very important uh, all the universities to make sure that we maintain the right standards and qualities. Brilliant. We're going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. This high exclusive. Welcome back to the show. This is High Exclusive in conversation with Mr. Ranjit Rubasinghe. A little bit about our education and what our future generation has to look out for. And uh, speaking about this university that has been holding standards and maintaining great uh, leaders who they have been putting out, which is a great thing, uh, SLTC, which is a recognized research university. Now, I wanted to speak to you about something today. Financially, everyone is really tight and uh, what we earned like literally eight weeks ago is nothing today. Yep. How has the university been able to facilitate something more relaxing for the parents or the students even? Uh, we understand. I mean, we, we, we work with the people and students. They are very close to us. So we understand the real feel of economic crisis. So what uh, we did actually for this year we managed to uh, reduce the course fees to a reasonable extent to give a little bit of uh, comfort to the parents those mm. who are actually paying so uh, I think that is the main thing that we did apart from that actually we have our own uh, scholarship scheme uh, which we call NTEC uh, where you have uh, a passes in your A levels, you will get 20% uh, discount for each A grade. So, uh, actually, we are encouraging uh, those who have done well to have better uh, course fees and mm. paying less to get the degree. So, th those are the things that we actually do in, in line with. That's amazing. Okay. Now, um, having a variety of opportunities to come and study is a key thing. What are the areas that you, what you will say has been the most favorite of the students and what do you all offer? Uh, <coughs> I think uh, we've been a research university uh, in Sri Lanka. Most of the time research goes with technology. So engineering is one of And it's our your favorites. favorite baby as well. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to say. <laughs> 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 so. Uh, 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 so we, we have established ourselves as a engineering university and we have the recognition and we have proved that we do the best in that. And apart from that, actually we have uh, a business school, we have a technology school and we have a music school uh, and we have our uh, computing. Community computing and IT uh, school and we recently launched our science school wow. as well. Okay. So I think uh, I it's, it's not only the offer uh, or the programs that we offer, the most important thing is the diversity of people that is there in the university. Mm. So uh, I think most of the Sri Lankans won't care about it, but when you just take the university ranking, they consider diversity of the university as one of the very Key important things. factor. Mm. So, uh, you being part of SLTC, you will be, you, even though you are an engineering student, you are working with uh, the business school people, you are working with uh, common IT people, you are working with uh, technology people, and you are working with people, those who are playing guitar and violin yeah. and doing their music. So you will, by, by the time you get your knowledge to become a graduate, you will actually have a proper uh, skills developed to become a good social individual who can actually lead a team. So that is 
uh, that is the difference that we wanted to create and that is what we are doing. And, and as years goes, I'm sure you'll be adding more to your curriculum. So Exactly. So now we have started our postgraduate programs and we have now, we have, uh, uh, as we discussed previously, we are now offering transfer programs. So uh, there are many more. Plus, uh, the most important thing, the dif real difference is like we are encouraging student students to either be part of research groups or, or associate researchers within the university so that these people will start thinking differently. I think uh, so this innovative mindset, creating an innovative mindset, we have set up an environment within the university. That's so amazing. that is that is the difference that we are trying to create. And also picking the lecturers who are going to speak and uh, you know plant that knowledge in a student. How do you all streamline how do you choose the best uh, i think uh, that's the most difficult mm. thing because university is uh, is not set of buildings university is set of people uh, so that, that that's that's the most important thing so uh, the the type of people that you are the students are nurtured uh, is very important so what we do uh, as I explained previously, uh, we want these graduates to be the proper fit to the industry oh. and, and work with the industry seamlessly just after graduation. So we actually have, our, uh, we have faculty members, as I tell, told you, from industry uh, doing or playing bigger roles or leading, leading, leading roles in the industry uh, so that they, they understand uh, what exactly industry expects from these graduates. So even, and then uh, for the students, we have a role, the, the, the role models within the university itself. You know, they know, uh, okay, this chief technical officer of this place is actually teaching me, he's, he's behaving like this, his attitudes is, is this, and he is exposed to that kind of people. So that is one thing. Mm. The other important thing is, uh, to have uh, the academia, those who are actually trying to create the knowledge, because that is the other biggest issue that Sri Lankan system is having at the moment. Originally, universities are not only for teaching, I think universities are there to create the knowledge. So the dissemination will be, would be the secondary Mm. objective of a university but in in Sri Lankan context all the universities are teaching universities they are just uh, mm. dissemination disseminating knowledge not creating knowledge Correct. so we are we are trying to have that part or that segment of university objective inculcate in a bigger way mm. in our system so that we are very much uh, we, we have concerns when we are recruiting so we will recruit the faculty, those who have desire of creating knowledge as well. Mm. So with that, of course, we know we will be able to create good set of students, those who are uh, actually innovative and having innovative mindset. Amazing. Now, SLTC also allows you to break into this uh, playground if you have finished your A-levels. Uh, local or London. And at the same time, can an O-level student also maybe have like a bridging course that could take them there? Yeah, we have a foundation program for all level students. They can do that and then jump into your yeah, education. Okay. Yeah. And is there a benefit when you have done London A-levels than a local? Uh, not necessarily. I okay. think uh, we consider both as equal mm, for, okay. uh, for entry requirement purposes. Okay. Now, uh, as I was speaking to the team when I walked in here, you know, there are so many universities and uh, sometimes it's very hard for a student to choose the right one to get the right information and know whether they are going into a scam without even choosing the uh, right path. And this is hard earned money and when you invest, you need to be right when you invest and when you have such transparency when we are talking, uh, you know it's, 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 it's a no-brainer. You can just uh, pick this place and be happy about the fact that you are getting the uh, right path that you are going to make way in. What would you say a few things that really make this one of a kind in the market? Uh, 
I think I explained about the research university yeah. and it's, uh, it's the only research university. But beyond that, I mean, wha wha what's, what's, what's the university life? How do you define your life, university life? Is it just gathering Information certain in, yeah. knowledge d within four years? And remember, this is the most important four years in your life. Correct. So we have to be very mindful. How do you spend the, f the best four years in your life? Is it just gathering the knowledge? I mean, if that is the case, you can easily do that by sitting in front of the computer now, because all these knowledge is available on Correct. your phone and, and on your laptop or any, any connected device. But university life or the university is there for you to get a lot of other skills other than uh, the knowledge. Of course, it's while you are getting knowledge, you have to make ready to start your new life. You are, you are converting from a childhood to a proper adult and taking responsibilities. For that, we have to make the student into a professional, giving a lot of other ingredients as a skills to become right fit to the industry. So, you have to select a place who can, which you actually you can get that uh, skill set. Correct. So that is why we are we are uh, promoting or we have positioned our university campuses. One at Paduka, I think that is the biggest non-state university, which is which is located in 37 acre land, uh, a properly uh, green uh, university with uh, uh, all the facilities that you want. Uh, recreations, hostels, we have 900 plus beds on campus and we are a 24-7 open uh, university and that is again a, a unique thing. I don't see any other university mm. keeping open 24. So all these things actually what, what, what we want, we want people, those who are living independently, taking their own, re the, taking responsibility of their life. That is what we do. So it's, it's a proper university experience that you get with diverse set of people at Paduk. In Colombo at Trace, it's a completely, I mean, you are, you are living in the industry itself. Uh, if you take this place, we have uh, Orange, uh, we have Hodgen, we have Kelsey, and many more. Uh, and you are, you'll be part of uh, the, the industry hub. itself mm. and the hub. And you are actually taking your lunch with the CEO of one of the biggest companies in the country. And, and you have uh, exposure to Vega and a lot of other innovations happening here at Trace. So I think this is what we want and we want uh, the students to have the real experience rather than just being in a one multi-story building uh, with uh, just classrooms. Correct. Well, uh, it's not a narrow path to education, it's a very broad path to education and, and that's, uh, that's what defines somebody being a contributor to the society or being a loner. So uh, thank you so very much for your time thank you so much, and Dan. for explaining it's so easy for us to understand. Uh, uh, thank you so very much. And I would like to say uh, SLTC uh, Research University is definitely a choice that you have to make if you're planning on furthering your career and also getting the right type of information or even the education uh, that's going to be recognized internationally. Uh, considering all the factors that are happening uh, uh, around us, they've been nice enough to reduce prices and keep it in a way that is affordable for us at this very moment. So do check them out online, social media, or even come and visit them in person for more details. Thank you for joining us on another episode of a high exclusive. Till we see you again. It's a wrap.